Osteoarthritis is one of the main chronic diseases affecting people across the world. For many people it makes activities of daily living very difficult. The main feature of osteoarthritis is deterioration in the cartilage on the ends of the bones at the joints. It can occur in many joints but knee and hip osteoarthritis are particularly common. Here in the Centre for Health, Exercise and Sports Medicine in the Department of Physiotherapy at the University of Melbourne, we study the physical function of patients with osteoarthritis with a view to identifying conservative treatments that may slow the course of the disease and improve quality of life. To analyse the movements and loads on the joints of patients requires a sophisticated laboratory. Needing a special laboratory and expensive equipment means that it is not possible to examine patients' movements frequently. Also, the way patients perform in the lab may not always reflect how they move as they go about their daily activities. In order to address these limitations, we are developing ways of moving our measurements out of the lab into the field. This research is funded by the University's Institute for a Broadband Enabled Society with assistance from Ericsson. We have developed sensors which combine gyroscopes and accelerometers with appropriate software which can record patients' movements unobtrusively over hours. The current generation involves a cabled version for knee measurement, usually worn under the clothes, and a self-contained version for measurement of trunk motion. Here we see the self-contained device for trunk motion measurement. Again, this would normally be worn under the clothes. The system transmits the raw movement data to an Android smartphone, where it is combined with data from the phone's own accelerometer and GPS. Ericsson developed the software for the smartphone, which transmits the movement data via Wi-Fi, if in range of a local network, or via the 3G phone network, to the internet and then back to our server and monitoring software in the lab. We still have a lot of work in front of us to understand what data from the various sensors is most useful. As a result of further lab work, we hope to extend the sensor packages as well as the phone and server software, which will equip us to run a field trial with osteoarthritis patients outside the laboratory in their normal environments. It's still early days, but the sensor package and the server software are now functional and the work with Ericsson to develop the phone app is now complete. <laughs>